You who have gone through struggles, you who have suffered, not only spiritually, but emotionally, financially. You who have walked through many deserts, I am here to bring a message of consolation to your life. Amen? A message that will bring refreshment to your soul. Perhaps today has been very complicated for you, and you may have even thought, I can't bear to live anymore, I can't bear to suffer anymore. Often I see that this is the oppression of the enemy. The Bible says that he knows he has little time left, and therefore the enemy fights with all his might so that we give up on walking with Christ. So, we have to be alert when these difficult moments come, because when the struggle comes, we need to learn to let the storm pass. Without complaining, without murmuring, because after the storm comes a beautiful rainbow. And that's what I came here to tell you today. God will calm your storm. God will calm that storm that is within you. God will calm that storm that is within your heart, and that is the worst storm you have. When it seems that nothing is right, nothing brings you joy, you can't smile anymore, you can't recover. So, I came to bring a word from God here to you. I want to read to you a passage that is in 2 Corinthians, chapter 1. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all consolation, who consolates us in all our tribulations, so that with the consolation we receive from God, we may also consolate those who are going through tribulations. Here Paul says that God is the God of all consolation, the God of mercy, who first brings U.S. consolation, so that we may then consolate those who are going through tribulations. If I am recording this video here now, IT is because firstly God consolated me. God brought me a spiritual renewal that I needed, you know when you pray, you do your part, and still, the storm doesn't pass? That's because God is still allowing the desert. But God is acting and will calm your heart. Sometimes the circumstances won't change, but if your heart changes, then everything has changed. Amen? I am sure that many of you are going through tribulations. Often, people think that for a man of God, a bishop, a pastor, things are easier. They say, you already know the word of God, you have the habit of praying, you have more experience, so it's easier for you. Indeed, the more time you walk with God, the more experiences you have, the more hope you will have, the more faith you will have because you don't despair when you see a complicated situation, you can see beyond. But I want to tell you that I go through the same struggles as you. I feel the same discouragement that you feel, sometimes the same anxiety, the same sadness in my heart. Sometimes we don't feel like smiling, right? We need to rely on God because in due time, He will calm your storm. I want to share with you the Bible passage that comforted me in a moment of despair 15 years ago. I want to read it to you now. For those of you who are very sad today, who are deeply shaken, who have even come to the conclusion that nothing is going right for me, I no longer have the will to live, I can't bear suffering anymore then this message is for you. One day Jesus said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and set out. As they sailed, he fell asleep. A squall came down on the lake, so that the boat was being swamped, and they were in great danger. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters, the storm subsided, and all was calm. Perhaps you who are listening to this story right now are in a moment where you think, I have no more perspective in life, it's over, it's the end. 
the worst thing that can happen to us is to lose hope hope for better days that things will change maybe that's your struggle the disciples went to jesus for help and the lord rose up and calmed the storm jesus will do the same for you if you are going through battles if you don't see a way out if at this moment all you feel like doing is crying if you have no more strength to face the next day sometimes we think this week will be different we fill ourselves with hope but suddenly a storm comes and changes our plans and we find ourselves lost in that situation and i want to tell you jesus will calm your storm today you may not see a way out but i want to tell you that when we reach the end that's when god starts a new chapter in our lives amen i have many experiences of deliverance that's why i'm here to comfort you because jesus has already comforted me the enemy rises against us but the victory belongs to our god hallelujah the enemy does nothing that god does not allow so god is allowing this storm to show you who he is his power and what he can do in your life this phase of your life will become a testimony of what god will do in your life i just want to read the continuation of this scripture for you look at what jesus says where is your faith he asked his disciples frightened and amazed they asked each other who is this that even the winds and the water obey him with just a word that jesus commands the storm has to go away amen may you surrender your heart and your life in this prayer that we are about to make and i will pray along with you i will join my faith with yours put all your faith in it and jesus will calm your storm god will bring rest to your soul today and you will sleep in peace leaving tomorrow in the hands of the lord close your eyes and repeat this prayer shall we pray my lord my god and my beloved father i open my heart now father before you and i lift up to you the lives of everyone listening to me now my god i ask you lord to come and calm these hearts just as you comforted my soul i believe that you will comfort their hearts lord i don't know what they are going through but lord many people have been praying for their marriages for their children for their financial lives for jobs for health but i cannot individually pray for all of them father but you know the heart of each one the enemy wants them to complain the enemy wants them to murmur to blaspheme against you my father give faith to my brothers place this same faith in the heart of each one my father calm their hearts those people who are here praying for their relationships who have broken their relationships again who find themselves alone once again it seems that the dream is gone my father but you are mighty my father to resurrect just as you resurrected my dreams my father i ask you to resurrect the dreams of each one here with me now my father those who are praying for their financial lives going through difficulties give them wisdom my father give them strategy so that they can pay off their debts open doors where there are none lord cases that are in the courts release them my father lord jesus work the miracle my father in each one's life this person who is asking to be strengthened for you to renew their strength my god bring spiritual renew lord may they not put their trust in me but rather in Jesus Christ. He is the only powerful one who can calm the storms of our lives. In the name of Jesus, my Father, there are many people asking for their families, family problems, conflicts, illnesses. Lord, do not let the enemy mock this situation, do not let the enemy have victory in the life of your child, my Father. May you bring victory, my Father, in all areas may we depend on you father every day as long as we have breath in our lungs we want to praise you 
we will not complain about the desert, we will not murmur. We will glorify you. We will worship you. Lord, remove all oppression, all spiritual burden from the lives of your children, in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you bring the solution and rest for their souls, and may they glorify you. In the name of Jesus, we pray and thank you. Amen.